Hi madam, my name is Teo Chi Yong. I'm from Group 9. I'm the other school member uh, Lim Jia Yi, the Vivian and Li Ji Suan. And the company of our research is Domino Pizza. So I will introduce the history and the background of the Domino Pizza. In 1960, Tom Monaghan and his brother James take over the operation of a small pizza restaurant chain which is Dominic's and then they officially renamed the business as Domino Pizza in 1965. And the Domino Pizza logo originally had three dots, which is rebranding the three store in 1965. And then on May 12, 1983, Domino Pizza opened its first international store in Canada. And in February 2016, Domino Pizza opened its 1000 store in India. And then in February 2018, it became the largest pizza seller in terms of sale and already had 15,000 stores in the world. And that's all for me. Thank you. Hello to my friend and Madam Fahanas. So my name is Li Ji Suan. My tree number is 2617867. So for today, I would like to talk about the marketing plan used by the Domino Pizza. So as first, it's around 4 to 5 years. That's particularly part of the work that Domino Pizza have done in their di digital marketing space. And around 60% of their sales come through the online. Besides, for Domino Pizza, this 100% of their business is owned by the franchise operator. So after that, I would like to talk about the 4 p strategy used by the Domino Pizza. First, for the product. All of the franchise operators are know the contract in the operational moods, business and operating financial moods for the pizza. So the second is the price of the pizza are really highest as compared to other competitors. Such as the three size of pizza available which is personal, regular and largest. And for the non-vegetarian pizza and also for the beverage is different it's because the convenience free bring charges. So for the third is the promotion part. So as I mentioned before, around 60% of their sales come through the online. So most of the promotion strategy that's used are through their e-commerce platforms. So the last is the price. So the ordering system for Domino Pizza in the is in the efficient ways is encourage bonds in the stock and the online platform. It's because they want to make it easier for customer to order. On the other hand, there are three reasons why Domino Pizza service their customer more quickly than other competitors. First, through innovations, Domino Pizza themselves developed their heat spray technology. So for the second is Domino Pizza is the only company use the printed heat spray bag to keep the pizza hotter for longer. So for the last is Domino Pizza is also the first company that make the apps to let the customer to order from their smartphones. Other than that, there are three drives to help Domino Pizza to define themselves. For the first is people's convenience is king. So for the second is make the ordering system as simple as possible. So for the last is recognition in the category of pizzas. So Domino Pizza try to ensure that their brand is the most top of the mind when people are starting to think about what to eat for lunch and for the dinner. So that's all from me. Thanks. Next, I will continue with the part of the operation plan. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Lim Jiayi, metry number 263083. The first part of the operation plan is the layout type. Domino's Pizza use cell layout for its operation. What's mean by cell layout? A cell layout involves grouping together a number of machines and technology according to the design of the product being made or the operations required for its production. The second part is input process output of the Domino's pizza. Input is ingredients to make pizzas and topping, information to make customer orders, and delivery address data. 
process involve staff members, machine and technologies, and kitchen tools. The output is the pizzas and the delivery service of the Domino's Pizza. The third part is the production process. First, the customer makes the order. The order can be done through a phone, internet, or walk into the shop. Then, the Domino representative will take the orders and he will enter the orders details in the post system as shown in the second picture in the slide. After the order being done, the order is exposed on the screen on the assembly line with the customer details. Then one of the team members will prepare the dough and spread the tomato sauce on the dough. And another person will put on the cheese and chosen topping and then put the pizzas in the oven and the time of the pizzas in the oven is around 6 minutes and 30 seconds. After the pizzas being done, the pizzas is put in a box which has the order type and order number. Then finally, the pizzas is put in a heat wave bag and delivered by a driver or directly to the customer at the counter. The last part is the four ways principle of the Domino Pizza. The first way is volume. Domino's employees produce products on a large volume. So the staff have to follow standardized procedures and operate on a continuous scale. The second way is variety. Domino offer a wide range of products by giving the option of selecting more or less toppings and adding or eliminating certain ingredients of the pizza according to the customer specification. The third way is variation in demand. The demand of the Domino's is high during the lunch and dinner time as compared to the rest of the day. The last way is visibility. Customer can see the production of the pizza as the kitchen is high visible. However, in the case of delivery, the visibility of the production process is low. That's all for the part of operation plan. Thank you. Good morning, madam and friends. My name is Te Vivian. My metric number is 261591. So next, let us proceed to the financial report of Domino Pizza in 2018. Why we use 2018? Because the 2019 um, financial report haven't come out yet. So that's why we use the 2018. So in this financial conclusion, we will focus on three parts, which is a financial highlight, the number of store and the income statement. So firstly, let's focus on the financial highlight of Domino Pizza in 2018. So although the total net unit growth of Domino Pizza is unstable, which is from 2016, um, 1,200, and then under the 2018, it's only 1,058. But the total year end store count of Domino Pizza is increasing slightly from 13,000 to 15,000, which is from 2016 to 2018. And then the revenue, their total revenue also increased from 2,400 to 3,400. And next, let us look at the total global retail sales of Domino Pizza, also increasing from 10,000 to 13,000 from 2016 to 2018. So, the total net income of Domino Pizza is also increased from 214 to 362. And next, as we can see from this table, the number of store of Domino Pizza in this world, the top one is India, which is 1,195 store in India. And then the top two is United Kingdom, which is 1,100. And then the top three is Mexico, 760. So from this graph, we can conclude that the Domino Pizza increasing better than the other restaurant which is from 2013 to 2018. See this line? So it increased the most as compared to others. So last but not least, let's us look at the income statement of Domino Pizza in year 2018. So first, 
from the supply chain is increased gradually from 1,500 to 1,900. And then for their total revenue, it's also increasing 100% from 2,400 to 3,400. And then last but not least, let's look at the net income. So it's also increasing from 240 to 362. So from here, we can conclude that Domino Pizza really did well in their past and we hope that Domino Pizza can do better in their future. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.